Summer dream, summer dream. Hi, guys, and welcome to Chuang Thailand podcast. We're your host, Anissa and Robbie. We're so glad to have you here for the first podcast for Chuang 2024, a.k.a. Thailand. Um, we're just thrilled to be here for another survival show. Anissa, do you have any, like, opening words before we get into the nitty gritty? No, I don't think so. I mean, we haven't got the first episode yet, so I'm just we really sure looking didn't. forward to this. It's just like we're picking faces that we just like, and we're just talking our mess and grab mm-hmm. your teacups and snacks because we're just going to have a little fun time. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you want to share your top seven? First off, misogyny, because every time it's a boy season, they're like, we must have 11 men. But girls, mm, nah, mm, nah. we need to have the seven women. Seven. That sucks. I thought that was just a Chuang Arling Arling thing, not a Chuang Thailand thing. Yeah. I'm uh, hoping. I don't think that they confirmed how many members it's going to be. I don't know. I haven't watched the most recent preview that they posted about the show. They need to pull a, a eyes on and do 12 to make up for. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's only 70 <laughs> trainees. So, oh, but, so I'll take like nine. But I don't yeah. want seven. I, I don't want, want like seven. nine, 11, yeah. 12. We need to balance it out. We need to mm-hmm. balance it out. Yeah. And like no one's really making large groups anymore. So I feel like at, at, like at least the produce sheer, series, Chuang series could make large groups. Yeah, I agree. Please, but, without further ado, share your top summer dream. Summer dream. Let me stop. <laughs> so here Let is my current top seven. They look like oh. you would vote for them. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> so number one, who is my one pick, is Akina from Japan, from Fakey. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you knew that when I saw her photo, I was like, wait a minute, that's Akina from Fakey. And I was like searching everywhere for information on it. And no one posted about it. I'm like, does no one recognize her? Am I the only one? But after I posted about it, a lot of people started to catch on. So... Did she have the Kelly the Kelly Rowland red bob in fake yes. years? That, oh, okay, so they should have known. They're like, ah, oh, shoot, it's Kelly Rowland. They should have mm-hmm. caught on. Yeah, I mean, she changed. I mean, it's similar to like K-pop idols. They change their hairstyles a lot. But her most mm-hmm. recent stuff with Fakey, like their final departure world or was no, world tour, but Japan tour. Yeah, that's what she looked like. It was that hairstyle. Oh, okay. okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. So like I. Had, I knew that Fakie was going on like a permanent hiatus pretty much, but <laughs> I didn't know what their plans were. Yeah, basically yeah. just like soft disbanding. I didn't know what they were going to do. So like when I saw her, I was like, oh, okay, got it. I was not expecting this at all, like at all. She's also one of the older contestants. I think she was born in 99. Okay. She's not That's the oldest, but she. I think she's like second or third oldest one. That oldest 99. I know. <laughs> yeah. Shame. <laughs> So number two is Kaylin from mm-hmm. USA, and she's from Hawaii. And okay. the second that I saw she was from USA, I was like, she looks like an all-American girl immediately, immediately top seven, top whatever. You know, we I tried that all-American girl and produced Japan, and it didn't work out for me. So hopefully yes. it works out for you, because they said, immediate no. <laughs> they said, she's having too much fiesta. We have to drain that. <laughs> yep, yeah. Well, there's actually three girls from the USA. I think Mm -hmm. another, I think one of the Chinese girls is American too, because when she was speaking English, she had an American accent and she sounded fluent too. So I was like, you might be like born in China, maybe a little bit raised in the USA. I don't know. But anyways. So who do you think out of, I'll let you finish and then I'm asking you a question. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Well, Caitlin's number two. Number three, Mm -hmm. of course, Varan, because- the second that I saw her, I was like, is this Ruan center right now or am I going crazy? Because she mm. looks a little bit different, but I think it's just because her hair is tied back. It's honestly, she got like slightly older mm-hmm. and, you know, she's a she's grown now, right? Like she's mm-hmm. a, she's a, it, you know, so you're going to look different when you're like a woman. And mm-hmm. yes, yeah, so tied back and her makeup looks really nice. Yeah, it's really cute. In her <laughs> introduction, the PR video, I think she said something like, I'm the hamster or mouse or something. And I'm like, girl, you mm-hmm. actually look like that. That's cute. I was about to be shady, but I'm not going to be shady. <laughs> I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> so number four is Tien from Thailand. And I just like her because she's cute and pretty. And she gives like influencer energy, like just the it girl. She has it girl energy to me. In that photo, she's giving me Hikaru energy. 
Yeah, she is. It's the <laughs> it's the way like mm, try me. Mm. She said F around and find out. Hmm. <laughs> That's what she looks like in this photo. But I think on video she looks she looks cuter. She said, I'm gonna do what that girl did because it worked for her. <laughs> Um, so number five, I have Wang mm. Sheng Chi, as I think yes. how you say her name from China. Um, yes. I also like her because she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. And something about her PR video, she was giving like the popular girl who's just like also chaotic. And I was like, there's something about you that I like. I like your energy. So I hope she's good on stage. Share from clueless energy. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then six. Hai Lu from Thailand. She's one of the more popular ones, and I think she won. She was standing beside Ruan. I, I remember her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, she's definitely very popular. I saw one of her profile pictures, and I was like, you are, like, you, she gives the energy. It's like, I didn't come here to debut. I came here to win. Like, I'm going to win Chuang Asia. And I'm like, okay. Something about her is definitely competitive and, like, fierce. 100 percent right, confidence baby. yes <laughs> like <laughs> i feel like i mean the show's not out yet but i swear she's gonna give that energy it's like it's not enough to debut i want to win chuang asia you know who had that energy uh what's her name momona she, produce that but in chuang arling arling she, who was it it was the uh, the girl that was taught from Thailand, but she was Chinese. Nene? Yes. She was like, I don't, it doesn't matter what side of the stage I'm on. I will be fine. And I was like, ooh. Yep. Yep. She's actually a mentor in this uh, season. I too, noticed so. that. I noticed that. Mm -hmm. You know who needs to be here? Why isn't, why, why is Curly not here? That would be nice. I have no idea what she's doing now because I don't. She's singing music. ballads with people that. Oh my God. I guess are important in, in that work, that that industry but i'm like girl i need more you know no one no man and man i, I need i need the discrimination <laughs> number seven in my top seven i don't know how you say her name i'm just gonna say shy for now from singapore mm -hmm. um i just like her face she's cute and she looks like she is a fun time so like for um like reality shows which i don't know what they're planning on doing with this group but like for example if they were on weekly idol or something like that mm -hmm. she looks like she would be fun would, right yeah. it's giving everglow a little bit it is i can see that yep <laughs> and so who would be the equivalent of the beijing kebab for you here um oh, for 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 reference the beijing kebab is the, the star or the pride of beijing which was a, a statement that was made in arling arling when curly was singing and that random guest host like beijing kebab and it just has carried with me mm -hmm. for the like rest of my life so who would be the equivalent of that for you here i don't know yet i feel like i need to see their demo stages mm -hmm. before i mm -hmm. make the decision because it's chuang asia but it's thailand so like half the trainees are thai th from thailand mm -hmm. so i guess it would probably be one of the trainees who's not from thailand sure you know what i mean like as a foreigner technically right but right. i still want to see their stages I hope the songs are continuously English and Thai or Thai and English, like the blend, just like mm -hmm. how Summer Dream was, because that was, I like that. Mm -hmm. But I like your top. I like your top seven. Thanks. We'll see if they stay or not. Ooh. <laughs> so I have a type with my with my groups, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your groups are, your top is always cohesive, like free show, <laughs> top, whatever always cohesive <laughs> mine is a mess and i pretty much just wait until the finale <laughs> i i want I, like i just see what works and i'm like yep mm -hmm. uh, yep mm -hmm. i need yeah oh uh, great mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i would have been i would have been perfect for the boardroom when they rigged eyes one i'd be like well, no we need to bring this one here mm -hmm. and yep why is she here <laughs> uh, i know she's a part of stone music but no bring this one in <laughs> let me stop <laughs> anyway so my summer dream, I would, please don't watch this rant. My rigged sleigh, <laughs> like when I found out she was center, I for anyone that, that like has followed me at all knows I've been manifesting her as center for like produce Japan, but obviously she's under Kiss Entertainment, so she couldn't go because she's signed. Mm -hmm. So it feels like my manifestation just took another form, and man, what a New Year's gift that was. I mean, 
like if you watch our like Girls Planet like podcast, we fried her and then fell in love with her. And <laughs> I said, if she ever does another show, I'm voting and she'll be my top. Mm -hmm. So I'm keeping my word. So that's number one. Now, Rinka, if you followed our Girls Planet podcast, mm -hmm. you knew she was in my top nine from the beginning. And then she did mic drop. Yeah. And then I immediately <laughs> dropped her. So I want to give her a redemption because she seems very happy to be here. Mm -hmm. And she got her hair fried and, and dyed and laid. And so we're going to just wish the best for her. Yeah. Her, now, in her PR video, she was like, I'm Rinka with blonde hair. So don't forget me. I have blonde hair. I'm like, Girl, she <laughs> wants to stand out. <laughs> I mean, I like the black hair, but, you know, she's mm -hmm. trying something new. Mm -hmm. Now, Wonka is from Produce 48. And mm -hmm. I liked her from Produce 48. And then when they dropped her, I think she's part of the team where like almost everybody got dropped. And I was like, wait, she had something special. So ex I'm excited to see her back in the idol industry. And I think this might work out a little bit better because it's true long and not like in Korea. And it's more, I think there's like a fair shot for her to, to get it. And I think she still has a, like a small fan base, but a large enough to like for it to work out. Yeah. Now, the last four are clearly based on pure visuals because they fit what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Um, on this looks is giving promise. She looks like Suzumi in Miai. Yes, yes, and you know that's something I like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Guan He was is giving. That girl, Suzu, Suyu, Suzu from Miai, mm -hmm. a little bit. Like the girl that was a part of some company and she wanted to debut. She had the same hairstyle. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just like, mm, like that. Let's bring that in. Mm -hmm. Now, what, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Eileen, right? Maybe. Might be or Eileen. I don't know. Eileen. This is, I'm not trying to be healthy, but if you go back to Girls Planet, Pigtails are an instant top pick for me. That sounds terrible. I feel like every time we reference something, like we have to re-explain our jokes. I don't know if our audience will be the same for this or not. Oh, true. Oh, should we talk about healthy? <laughs> oh, God. I hate Maybe it. after your top seven, we can explain a few of our inside jokes that we probably sure. will be referencing. <laughs> sure. Okay, so Jessica is giving model. Hmm. And I like one slayful girl in a group. I didn't get that in me. I, I wanted Mana. I didn't get that. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Me, I doesn't really. Every, every time that. I try to get a slayful girl, it never works out. Vivian, Girls Planet didn't work out. Mana didn't work out. I need some slay. Mm -hmm. One slay with the rest. Jessica that is such a slayful name, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the way she's looking, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's my top uh, seven. And yes. my Beijing Kappa is Ran, but I feel the dark horse is Rinka. You think that Rinka would be a dark horse? She has a lot to prove. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. We'll see how the show goes, but I feel like Wonka I might feel like there's a lot of pressure on her. Yeah, she I mean, this disappeared that's, after Produce 48. And then... Yeah, I mean, she used to be busking and doing other stuff. But I feel like Rinka has a lot to prove. She didn't make it past the first round versus True. Ran made it all the way almost to the finale, the semifinals. And Wonka at least made it to like the position challenge. So I feel like, and Wonka's been honing her craft. So I don't think she'd be a black horse. I just think she'd be talented, like mm. a clear front runner, maybe if everyone pays attention. Mm -hmm. But I think Rinka has a lot to prove, like, you know, it's been three years since Girls Planet. So, you know, what talents and, you know, things she wants to showcase, I, I wonder. Mm -hmm. yep. I see. That's how I feel. And that's, that's just how I feel. So let's talk our mess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'll let you take it away because I don't have anything else besides I'm just happy to be here and summer dream, summer dream. <laughs> okay. First, I want to start off if you're new here. Yes. If we call someone rigged sleigh, which there's only <laughs> one rigged sleigh, which is Ruan, we're referencing Girls Planet because we made a joke that Ruan got rigged in as her planet pass. She was rigged yes. pretty much. Yes. yes. Yes, she was. They were saying it was like two girls that were obvious because in Girls Planet, they were 
there was something called a planet pass where even though the girls that ranked high enough to make it to the next round, if they were the, the final cut, they would get eliminated. And then the staff and, you know, the judges mm -hmm. would choose who they wanted to move forward. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you, you, you know, you, you're singing well, so you get to go. You, it's your birthday. You get to go. And you did things behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wait, why? Why are we picking her? But we don't know what behind the scenes things she did. And you know who was doing things behind the scenes? Ruan. And then the, the next time she actually won Fair and Square, she was walking. It, <laughs> it's just like, I made it here, Fair and Square. So there. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, don't be too extra. We understand you got rigged. We understand you made it. You weren't rigged in this time, but let's all be very clear. This behind the scenes thing, I don't know what Kiss Entertainment was paying y'all, but let's. Let's be honest. Come on now. Now, again, to be fair, Ruan should have been rigged into the the finale. Mm -hmm. She should have got the planet pass. So we we know why she didn't get passed. And we know why Maya got passed. Because <clears throat> the Korean, you know, was biased. But I don't think she's going to be the rig slay this time. I think she's going to get in there fair and fair square. And square. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, that's probably the only thing that we'll really be saying a lot. I don't know. And healthy. Oh, right. The healthy men. We have to censor certain <laughs> words. But yes. if you watch the very first season of Produce 101 in mm -hmm. Korea, where like, yes. I guess Somi was center, right? For the final. Oh, she line. was center in the group IOI, but the like original. She wasn't center. the center of the show. Mm -mm. Yeah. So in that show, I believe it was the producer or one of the guys who were putting like the show executive together. executive producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said that it was healthy corn for men. <laughs> let's let's say it like it's TikTok. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you're going to reference like certain types of men are looking for certain things and that's how they're going to vote. That's exactly how they're going to vote. Yes. So and healthy, I think they're even healthy men. <laughs> I think they'll be even more interested because of the Thailand aspect. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I hate it here. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately. So it's funny, but also not funny. But like are there any trainees that's from Yifan's company? I don't know because I don't know her company. And I wasn't really keeping track of the companies that much because her except company for Avex. was really rich. Yeah. And you know how that how that worked out like that's the company of one of the members of exo who was also like he was a mentor on chuang 2020 and he he got hate because um um for the finale voting uh mm -hmm. he was like oh everyone vote for her please and people were like what are you doing like you're a mentor on the show and that's your like we get that that's your wait was it yifan or was it chu Chi young or something i forgot which one but one of the girls on the show pretty much seven and eight rank seven and eight he was like oh vote for her please and people are like what are you doing like this isn't no, fair but no judge should be saying vote to anybody because that's just conflict of interest like you exactly. need to be exactly you need to be non-biased you need to just be like this is what you're like give critique and then mm -hmm. be done and then that's when the show's when the show is over, then you say it. Then you say it. Mm -hmm. Like, remember the girl, or not girl, the woman that was like the dance coach for Produce 101 and Produce 48? Mm -hmm. She's never going to tell you who her favorite was. We all kind of knew. You can see, but, but she's not yes. going to say it. But then when the show is over, she's posted on Instagram with them, doing dances, doing yeah. TikToks and, and all this and all that. And, you know, mm -hmm. we all knew. We're like, she we're like, we all know Young from Eyes One was her favorite. Yeah. We all knew that Sohei, even though it was a burden to her and produced 101 season one, was her favorite. Mm -hmm. She was like, girl, you're bad, but you're great. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm enamored. Mm -hmm. We knew who her favorites were. Because she'd be messed. She'd be, she still rocks with them. Mm -hmm. Even Somi, she'd be hanging out with. All the IOI girls, she'd still be hanging out with sometimes. Yeah. But anyway... That, that's just what it is. So he shouldn't have done that. He really yeah, shouldn't. especially like if he wasn't a mentor on the show, then yes, Different say story. what you want to say. But you're right. on the show. Like, come on now. It just right. It wasn't it, good. It, it's like it's different. Like when they did. uh, Goodness, what's that group in Korea? Um, Unity mm -hmm. and everyone from DP, DSP, the Cars company. They're like, vote for girl, this girl from April. And by the way, 
that girl didn't even know how to pronounce her own group. She was like, I'm from Apuridan. And I'm like, okay, all right. You, you. Wasn't she like added to the group last or something? No, no, she no, was she bullied. Was she, she was removed from the group. Because they were bullying the mess out of her. Wasn't well, but, that but her? then they find but then there's like it's 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 muddy water with that one. Mm. Because is it did she get bullied for real? Yeah. Or it, they're like, and then the, <laughs> the poor girl that got added to the group after um her mm-hmm. and so so men from card left, mm-hmm. two girls got added, Rachel and that chick from uh baby Cara. Yeah. And uh, the girl from Baby Car is like, I don't know anything about this situation. I don't know who she is. I joined the group after she left. I was an intern and unpaid for quite some time. And I was put on several survival shows. And now my dream is over. Yeah. She didn't say that, sucks, but she said but... that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, y'all brought in Rachel all the way out here from whatever. They... I think she was from Seattle, Washington. And she was like a ballot, like the Kazuha, but without yeah. like being a part of a big company. I'm like, y'all done wasted this girlfriend time because now she's wasted so much time. She can't join a dance troupe because she's doing K-pop instead of her ballet stuff. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's not clear what really happened because it's all speculation. And this is not too unrelated, but it's be, but this is just, I love the messy letters that come out of DSP because when they added Young G to Kara mm-hmm. and uh, uh, what was her name? Giddy wrote a letter. She's like, I took a long walk around the park. I thought about it. I had dinner. I, you know, had a wine glass. I, I'm like, girl, you're just talking too much. Like, <laughs> just say you don't want her in the group and keep they it pushing. They did not want her in that group. No, like, they didn't. I mean, they accepted it later. I mean, Gary was the most welcoming from yeah. what I saw. Because she's like, join us, you know, do this dance. We know you don't know it because you weren't a part of us. But, you know, try. But, like, when she wrote that really salty, bitter letter, I'm like, girl, just say you don't want yeah. her in the group. It's not wasting it. It was like... A good two paragraphs of wasting my time before she got to the meat of it. But this I is not a car the... podcast. It's not. <laughs> but it it just I one thing led to another about about survival shows. But anyway, back mm-hmm. to Chuang. Summer dream. <laughs> summer dream. Summer dream. Mm-hmm. Um. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about it. Do you want to talk about the mentors? I don't know if you know any of them, but I can read them all. I just know Nene. Yeah. And so, there's like, isn't there somebody from like a K-pop group in there? Yeah, um, God Seven NTT or something like that. So we have Nene who was in Bon Bon Girls. They disbanded. Ten, who I believe is in Wavy. I think he is also in NCT. Yeah, well, Wavy five seven four a, nine two. Really? Isn't Ten a part of like the other thing? He's not just a part of Wavy. Right. Well, isn't Wavy like a fake subunit under NCT? Yes. I don't mean this in a hateful way. We're girl group stands, so I don't yeah, know we, we the dr- the drama with NCT. And but, to be yeah. fair, the only person I followed from NCT was Lucas, who I don't Left, know what's going on. They kicked out. him out, and and uh, you know, but at least I got to see him live, and you know, it mess anyway. Yeah. So they we have, have Jeff mm-hmm. Satur. I don't know who that who the is. Heck is he? I don't know, but he might be a big star in Thailand. So we'll see. Oh, and then, okay. Um, Mike Angelo, who mm-hmm. I, I don't know who that is. I think he's an actor or something. And mm-hmm. then Jackson, who From got was, seven, got seven. Yeah. Yes. But he's more known as a solo artist. And like, yeah. Rich. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you feeling about the mentors? They should have. They you know what they need to search for? A Thailand equivalent of Let's Go Janino. Like it, it might be one of these guys. Like maybe that's Jackson. I don't I don't need I don't need a man. <laughs> a judging woman like a that. woman situation <laughs> i wish that uh, they had more female mentors for that's what i'm saying it needs, feels show. unbalanced i'm like feels very unbalanced but it was also been imbalanced for arling arling because it was just what's the one victoria and then men oh yeah yeah but i don't know <laughs> we'll see so how Nene's, they are but you know what shout out to nana getting this check she said yeah that was cute for her. I didn't I didn't I didn't appreciate her enduring Chuang. I appreciated her afterwards. It's like she is my equivalent of Minju. Because when it was produced 48, I was like, I need Minju to go home. 
because you're ruining it for my girl. And and everyone was talking about some, I'm voting for Minju. And I'm like, stop doing that and focus <laughs> on soccer because if y'all keep doing this nonsense, it was very good, so it wouldn't matter. But I I had friends in Korea, like pen pals. And I'm like, so who are you voting for? I'm going to vote for soccer in Minju. I said, if you don't quit. And then all along, I should have said, stop voting for them and don't vote for Wan Young and that. Don't vote. Don't hate me, y'all. Don't it produce for it was a different time. Produce for it was a different time. But anyway, back to this, back to Nene. Good for her. And you know what's great? She can do her job in her home country. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't have to feel like, you know, like homesick. And I watched a video of her singing in China not that long ago. And she was doing her thing and dancing. And I could mm -hmm. feel she didn't really feel the rapper that was in the song, but she was just like kind of giving it and I was like mm -hmm. you know I'm not going to fly to see you because I I mean China but like I can tell you're a good time to watch on stage so I will never take that away from her and also she had to always be the one to sing she's a bonbon I'm a bonbon in every <laughs> bonbon song and I felt bad for her because the songs would be a bop and then here comes out of nowhere. Bon, bon. I'm like, wait, hold on. Why are we singing that part? This is a ballad. Wait, hold on. What happened to my extensions are going one way and my real hair is going another way? I don't keep up with her anymore. But she needs so. to bring her back. She needs to be a guest judge. Yeah. First episode. She needs to be a guest judge and I need for her hair to be here and her extensions to be here. And I don't need them blended. Yeah, I don't remember her name. Uh, she on was the a show. AKB girl. Yeah, she. I think she's an SNH forty eight, and yes. her name in Seven Senses is Akira, but I don't remember the name she went by in Chuang. It's her name is hair is here, extensions here, and it goes left and right, different directions. <laughs> I've never seen that in my entire life. What was that song that that she? I'm talking about Bon Bon because it's related to Chuang. But I feel like they need to bring each each girl from that group as a guest judge in different episodes. I need Sally for the dance. I need... They might do that, actually, because I know they they always are bringing in guest mentors and judges. On Chuang 2020, at least, they did right. that. Like, they brought in... Did they do that? Yeah, they brought in um one of the EXO members and like half of that episode was like an EXO reunion. And I'm like, okay, this is great for XOLs, but like the rest of us well, want to I remember talking to you about that. We're like, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, like I literally don't care. And then we have like Tao or, and Luhan like crying or something. And like, oh, I really miss you guys. I'm like, well, I'm sorry, but I don't care. This should be like a behind the scenes cut. <laughs> the Ruan vibes. <laughs> yeah, not, not in the main episode. Like something you go to YouTube to watch. Yeah, but also okay. I get it because at that point when I think like the three Chinese members of EXO left, like sure. there was no public acknowledgement of each other. So that right. that was actually a big deal for fans. Right, but wrong wrong platform. We're not here for you guys. Yeah, but I'm sure it made them a lot of money. Like the oh yeah, the oh yeah, that that ten cent <laughs> money. That <laughs> dun, 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 dun. let me stop. Mm -hmm. Let me stop. <laughs> I don't like that theme song for Chuang 2020. Anyway, I hope okay. since they're going to thrust in these men in our faces, they're going. What what was the group that came out of Chuang 2021? It was into 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 one, one or something. I think so. You know how they had to put the like concept challenge, and they had those men last minute thrusted in to those stages and Chuang and Arling, Arling. Amber. <laughs> that was that was 2021 that was that was 2021 they had oh, wait, women oh in 2020 yes. you're such they a mess added the men you're I'm a just, mess like, no, 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 <laughs> I, thought talking, I thought you were talking about into one no was, you're saying, I remember is you when said they added the men <laughs> and amber now they know how you really feel <laughs> okay but yes i do remember in 2020 when they added the men to the stage, yes which i hated but i'm I think this is the thing that they do yes you know like I if think... you're a k-pop fan you're used to it i'm a k-pop fan so i just have to right. suck it up so they should do that for this one or figure it out some stages have two men some stages have one whatever but bring the end to one guys on the stage and and on top of that like make it as good as the 2021 stages because the 2020 stages those men were staying on one side of the stage mm -hmm. and then when it was their part they just came on 
It looked and like they... they only had like one day to practice. And I think for um Ice Queen, I think they actually didn't get to practice with the guy that they were singing. They with. sent him a video on Zoom and said, That's mm -hmm. where you stand, and this is when you say ice, ice. I'll accept <laughs> that, but I just hated that some of the men had more lines than some of the girls, and specifically in Ice Queen. That guy shared lines with the same member over and yes. over again. So she never had a standout moment. I'm sorry, I don't the, know her name, but the ba -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, mm -hmm. that line. I know what mm -hmm. you're talking about. But you know, the only stage that went decently was I I call it the Humar stage mm. because I don't I was really here for her. It was her and Nene. Yeah, I was gonna the say, Humar, wasn't that Nene's? Theme. It was Humar stage, but that was Nene in the back of dancers, kind of. But Humar had that rap, and she had that oh, hair, yeah. and she had that bang, and she had the red, and I was like, "Who else is here?" Mm -hmm. She should, it. I tell you, she should have debuted it. There needed to be like twelve of them in there. But anyway, um, they need to, they need to give the love and care they gave to the boys to this season. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you're gonna do it. They need to practice because those stages for the boys in 2021, we enjoyed. I mean, it was it was good. I mean, I, I'm not a boy group stand, but I, I enjoyed it. But then when I think of 2020, they're like, you know, kind of last minute. Here you go. And I feel like that was odd. And considering like I don't I can't blame it on COVID because all of them were locked down mm -hmm. and China was handing COVID much better than us at the time. So I can't blame it on. Are we allowed to say COVID? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the panorama pandemic. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just my thought, because I'm thinking about it. Also, they need to keep this tradition of some random Western pop artist giving them a song to sing and only one of them sings it well. Because mm -hmm. I enjoyed how terrible them singing Katy Perry's Daisy. Oh my gosh. No, was it uh, it was Daisy, right? That was the finale stage, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it wasn't good. The only person that sounded great was Curly. And everyone was basically, you know what it sounded like? An Espa song where everyone was trying to hit a note over the other person and we're battling because I want to be heard over you. But it, except that's like organized noise. That oh, was okay. not organized noise. <laughs> so I feel okay. I feel so sorry to people who had girls ranked eight to like 15 because yes. you guys are probably serious about this show, True on 2020. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I feel like anyone who had girls ranked below 15, we just kind of accepted like <laughs> our girls are not getting in and we're just, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just gonna watch what happens. Uh -huh. because I just felt like the whole show just felt like okay, these are the top. 10 girls that we like and you guys mm. have to pick amongst the 10 that we like and we're going to showcase them and i really felt that during the um ever since the, the finale. not just the finale the challenge before that with but the, you know what they made it very apparent to us because they're like yeah. all right girls that's not the top 10 we might give you a ticket to the train to the next round or we might not and you have to be in the back of the train in the caboose because you're not the top yes. pick. Remember and how they, they would do that? they put them all in the train and told me, <laughs> yes, yes. I, I do remember, remember that. You just they're reminded like, me. You know, like, will you get a ticket? Mm, that was I like the know. most Mnet thing that they've ever done. I'm just like, why are you playing with these oh, girls they right were now? like Mnet, Mnet times 10. They're like, hmm, you're not like the top 40 that we like so you're a plus one you're on standby and i'm like bruh they made it but y'all are really being extra about this yeah. like they are being so extra and the thing about chuong 2022 is that they it was always the same girls in ads over and over again so that's why i'm really like you guys want Maybe because they sell the best, but also you guys want those girls. Like, can we see some new... I mean, it's also the same ads repeating, but then if we get a new ad, it's like the same people showing up too. Y'all don't be mad at, from, at me, but the girl that was like real hair here, tra uh, tracks down there. I got so frustrated when she was number one and she had that yoga commercial. She's like, bung, 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 bung. And I'm like, no, you're not good for the center. Like, you're a great number two. And she was a lovely number two lovely great number two but i kept seeing her face too much near the finale and i was getting uncomfortable with it i'm like you're not giving enough if if yifan was in the center 
okay, sorry, my doggy. But if your phone's in the center, you know, at least she would. She was great as like a a commercial queen. Mm. Great vocals, not so much. But you're correct. Well, I was say something I forgot. Um, what songs do you think they're gonna do for like the cover challenge mm. and like the like position challenge? I think that because. I'm not 100% certain on this, but I think because they're advertising more as Chuang in Asia Some are and Chinese. filming in Thailand, I think that we're actually going to hear K-pop songs in Korean. You know what I mean? Ooh. So I think they're going to start lifting that. Because I think they already started lifting, like soft lifting the Korean band in China. So you might actually hear K-pop songs in Korean. If not, it'll be K-pop songs in Japanese. Like the Japanese <laughs> version of like Boombaya or something like that, you know? Right. Right. I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. Yeah. I'm curious. I think that because we haven't got it yet, to my knowledge, and I know, I hope you guys aren't tired of this, but I need an Eyes One cover in Chua. <laughs> it's going to be Fiesta. <laughs> yeah, it is going to be Fiesta again. <laughs> but, I'm <laughs> but I'm okay with that because we got Fiesta Korea, Fiesta Japanese. Now I need Fiesta China. But wait, Asia. but it would be dope if it was in Thailand. Like, not Thailand, Thai. Oh, like they changed the lyrics? It would be like a little English, and it would be like Thai. And I'm not going to even create some fake Thai words because I don't want y'all to, to dox me. But <laughs> yes, it would be so cool. If dun, 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 that'd be great. But do I think they're going to do it? I don't know. Like, we'll why see. isn't a, a Ice One Girl a mentor? Who told me not doing nothing they... right now? She just graduated. I think that because of the way that K-pop is, mm -hmm. they get more benefits from strictly promoting in Korea, Korea and Japan, Japan, and USA if they can. Because right. Just because of the financial part, they'll get paid a lot. And then right. when it comes to other countries, like, for example, if they went to China, it could get more political. And it's better to just avoid the politics. Like, it's already... Right. I think only now it feels like Korean people are starting to be more okay with with other countries. idols in japan specifically sure in japan. oh so yeah what song okay. do you want to hear honestly i want new stuff i think that was an enjoyment of chuong was just like i don't know any of these songs and i get to be exposed to it True. like i i loved manta i love poem i'm sorry i i keep playing that i again chuang sorry for my dog but chuang is one of those shows where i come in and i'm just like educated yeah yep <laughs> but that's kind of like all i have to say for sure i mean unless there's more unless you have more things to say because i think you had some things some no, stuff prepared. i don't think so i mean i don't know if we talked about the theme song and how we feel about it Maybe oh the theme song i feel like for the song's great. I wish we got the music video, but we're not going to yeah. get that yet until the show. Mm -hmm. But I do love Summer Dream, and I, I disliked how the New Year's stage was like poorly lit. Yeah. And but again, I think they're just limited due to like where they had Thailand New Year's and everything. So I mean, it's not a big deal to worry about. But I just wish that it was better. Well, more well lit because the girls were giving, and I wish that everyone was able to be more featured. But I love the dance. I love the song. I feel like it's so much. I feel like it, it was such a like better choice than bum 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 bum. Yeah. Hey, because that song I feel like was. Let's be real. It was annoying. It was. It was. Yeah, annoying. I <laughs> liked the song once I kind of started making fun of it, but it felt like a child song, pretty much like from a children's show. But this song, very Barney, very Barney. Cool. Exactly. But Summer Dream actually feels pretty cute. Like it's a pretty cute song. They have a little bit of slayful moments in there. Like the little pre-chorus. I love the dun 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 dun. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. Like my thing is this. I love that there's like that fake girl woman singing the song and they all lip sync to it. I love that. Yeah. I love I don't need another, I don't need a uh uh what are we calling this group? I don't know. I don't know, cause I'm like, I'm like, what's the Bon Bon was was that, and then Rocket Girls. So what is this group gonna be? It's gonna be something girls. All I know is that it better be more than seven members. I yeah, need I at agree. least nine I because agree. when it's seven, pretty much the f like five or six slots are guaranteed, and there's only like one free spot that everyone's fighting for. 
like you know when you have I, 11 girls you yes. can actually have a dark horse if right it's seven or even it's, nine there's it's no, locked it's yeah locked. it's just yeah. It's pretty much it's, locked in it's locked um, what was i about to say um goodness oh i forgot my th- train of thought oh okay, oh, okay sorry okay. I just want to talk my mess about about Rocket Girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I like that it was produced uh branded. Mm-hmm. But that but that show was like done from the beginning when those two Cosmic Girls came in. It was like, oh, oh it's it was done. <laughs> they got didn't they get rank 1 and 2? Yes, they did. That was so good. <laughs> That's crazy. They were like and then when like Cosmic Girls came back, in Korea, they're like, hey, y'all, group came back. Y'all want to do that song that y'all, you weren't a part of, but I know you know it. And I'm like, what the heck? This is such favoritism. This is the Yehua of it all. Mm-hmm. Yehua is eating. Mm-hmm. Yehua is eating. Do they and have I, any trainees here? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know if they have trainees. I I wonder, you know, we. I think we're going to learn more when the evaluation stages come out. And we need to really pay attention to who's coming from which company from China. Because I wonder if it's coming from Ye- uh, Yefan's company and Yehua. Yehua's eating. They have Boys Planet. They had Rocket Girls. They had... They did really good for themselves. They're really the SM of, of China, I feel. Yeah. Yep. I think Everglow could have been even bigger if they didn't go on that really long hiatus. I think Everglow was gone for like almost two years. I They were trying to really milk your uh your 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 Ren. Yeah. That's right. That's her name. And I was like, she's a she's not like she's better in a group, kind mm-hmm. of for me. She's a lovely, beautiful girl. And I'm sure she did love great as an actress, but I feel like put her back in the group. Like she I didn't understand. And I'm not an Everglow fan, but I liked seeing the fans of Everglow excited for them. And I felt really bad that they weren't able to enjoy their group because they're making really dis- or decisions i didn't understand yeah yeah i'm sorry that they did that to you because you waited too long (laughs) they're back now so it's all good right right but that's all i have to say i think yeah i feel like we had more to say than i guess we even thought i mean we it's been four years since the last chuang that we actually watched oh my gosh you're so right years yeah yeah i just want to say one thing they need to have one ugly song for them to perform at the finale. Because Rocket Girls had that song where they're barking, and I need that again. Wow. That arf, arf, yeah. arf, arf. And I was like, wait a minute, that kind of goes. <laughs> and they need to have that. They need to have a Daisy type song where, mm-hmm. where the Katy Perry, where they're all competing to sing over each other when it none of you guys are singing this great. I hope in the finale they stick with the individual stages because I think everyone oh. had like a minute or two where they got to showcase even, their individual thing. If it's a song, even the eliminated it's... girls got to perform. Yeah, I mean they just performed like the theme song, but I don't yeah. know why these shows stopped doing that, like bringing back all the girls to do that I because that know. was nice. I, I don't know. Chuang twenty twenty just had a really good finale. It was actually entertaining. I feel like yeah. every other show. I'm just kind of like, why am I here? Just announce the members. But Chuang's right. finale was actually good. Like, it was a graduation ceremony. It was nice. Yes. Oh, oh, one more thing. I hope they save their great, like, slow, we're a group type song for the finale. Because the song, well, Chuang Arling Arling had, you mean so much to me, or this is everything I think of you, or whatever, where it was like the 30 girls from the, the concept challenge singing that song. It was really, it was really the top seven and friends. Mm-hmm. It but I feel was. like th- that song should have been saved for the finale. Yeah, yeah. That's all I have to say. Because I was like, I love that Faye Faye's yeah. involved in this, but she didn't get a line. So just save it for the finale. Yeah. And I would pre- I would replace that with the with the Katy Perry cover. <laughs> yeah, actually, they should have. Because then it could have been like that, you know, you know when like produce like the ending and they're mm-hmm. all holding a microphone with the flower taped on it and they're all wearing a white dress. That would have been that moment. Mm-hmm. But that's all I have to say. Chuang Arling Arling was just yeah. a great show. Like, it was just a great show. Didn't yeah. follow Bon Bon Girls, really. But I loved Chuang Arling Arling. Yeah, yeah. That's all I have to say. I feel like I was messy, but not really messy. Yeah, I mean, we'll learn more about the girls. And also, I want to know if anyone who's watching our port- podcast knows anything about these girls. Like, any yes. drama, tea, or really anything, because... We're K-pop we fans. We don't yeah. follow T-pop nor C-pop that much. Right. So, if you guys know anything about the girls, please share it in the comments below. 
or like DM, not DM, but like add us on Twitter so we can like learn. And like, this is a community where we all talk about whatever and we're really casual. So, you know, don't feel afraid to approach us on Twitter and talk to us because we love these type of shows. We've been following so many survival shows. Mm -hmm. And after this one, we might do Island too, if it's worth our time. Cause you know, Wu Tammy and Mona need to be involved in that. But anyway, mm -hmm. we appreciate you guys so much. Tell us who your top seven are in the comments below tell us the top three like c pop or t pop songs you are hoping they cover and who do you want to be the center for the for the like final lineup i think those are good questions yeah yeah well thank you guys so much for tuning in we love you guys so much and we'll see you for episode one yep summer dream <laughs> summer dream i don't know how to dance <laughs> 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 Bye, guys.